we were commanded for the first time to build the tabernacle. And in fact, after the giving of the Torah at Mount Sinai, the tabernacle was built. The tabernacle is a portable temporary temple. But for 39 years, it accompanied us in our wanderings through the desert, taken apart and reassembled again and again. After entering the Holy Land, Joshua established the tabernacle in Shiloh. The Shiloh tabernacle was built of a stone foundation and wooden beams and covered by layers of fabric, a combination symbolizing the transition from a temporary tabernacle to a more permanent one. Shiloh is to be the dwelling place of the Shekinah, the Divine Presence, the holiest site for the Jewish people for 369 years. The tabernacle was comprised of two main parts, the courtyard and the tabernacle tent. The tabernacle courtyard was rectangular, 100 cubits in length by 50 cubits in width, about 50 meters by 25 meters. In the heart of the courtyard stood the altar, made of wood overlaid with copper. On it burned the eternal fire, on which sacrifices, meal offerings, and wine offerings were made every single day. Since it is forbidden to ascend the altar by stairs, the Kohanim, the priests, ascended by a ramp. Before the Kohanim begin the tabernacle service, they would purify their hands and feet in a copper living basin which stood between the altar and the tabernacle tent. It is said that when the contributions for the tabernacle were collected in the desert, all the women donated their copper mirrors from which the living basin was made. First thing in the morning, the Kohanim entered the tabernacle tent, the sanctuary, for the day's service. Twice a day, they burned incense on the gold-plated incense altar. A blend of 11 special spices, which were placed on the coals, and whose wonderful perfume wafted far into the distance.
If you stand where the tabernacle stood and take a deep, deep breath, you can smell, if only for a moment, 